Here's why you don't actually want your newborn baby to sleep through the night. Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm a therapist specialized in birth to six mental health and sleep. And today I'm going to share with you why I actually cringe when I see videos on TikTok, for example, where parents uh, are saying, here's how I got my eight week old baby to completely sleep through the night. I look at it and I'm like, so um, I'm just going to say, if you're watching this and your newborn baby slept for 12 hours overnight from very early on, they're healthy and happy and you or your doctor uh, have no concerns around like feeding, around health or anything like that, then probably you got lucky and everything is well and this video just isn't for you. This video is for the parents whose baby, uh, and specifically newborn baby, is waking up every one to three hours and you're seeing all those videos on TikTok about how parents got their babies to sleep through the night. They didn't get them to sleep through the night. They were just probably a good sleeper and the parent is taking the credit. <laughs> Oops, the microphone is here. I hope you heard what I just said. <laughs> um, but if you're a parent whose baby, especially newborn baby, is waking up every one to three hours and you're seeing those videos about how other babies are sleeping this whole time uh, and thinking you're doing something wrong or maybe you need to try to do things to get them to sleep longer, I wanted to share with you reasons why I actually think and know that it's a positive thing that your baby is waking up frequently throughout the night. There is a reason they're doing it and there is a very important reason they're doing it. So keep watching if you have a baby who is waking up every one to three hours throughout the night. So you might know that babies have tiny, tiny stomachs and have really frequent feeding needs, particularly if you're breastfeeding, your new baby is building up your supply. That means that they need to wake up every one to three hours to feed in order to get the feeding they need and also to regulate your supply. Uh, so if they wake up and do it on their own, this is wonderful and you don't need to worry about waking them up. You don't need to worry about making sure you have your supply. Your baby is doing the work for you and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, waking up also protects your baby from sleeping too deep too soon, uh, which basically is a protection from uh, SIDS. So new babies are not supposed to sleep for really, really, really long periods uh, at a time, which is why all those videos on social media promoting babies sleeping really long from very early on just kill me inside. Um, so just know that if your baby wakes frequently, this is awesome and great news and a sign of health and that everything is going great and that you don't actually need to worry about their feeding needs because they're doing their part in making sure that they're regulating their, your supply and getting what they need. I have to say though, if you feel like your baby is feeding too frequently, which by the way, it's normal to need to feed eight to 12 times in a 24 hour period, throughout the first year. This is closer to 12 to 14 times early as a newborn and closer to eight to 12 at the end of the year. And there's a variation depending on individual babies and individual parents. But if you have any feeding concerns, maybe that your baby is feeding too frequently or you're having other uh, concerns around feeding, make sure to get help from a lactation consultant. So this is often not a sleep problem uh, if your baby wakes up, let's say every hour all night long, 24 hours a day, there could be a feeding um, area of need. Maybe there is a health related issue as well. However, if uh, your newborn is waking every one to three hours and will do around a three hour stretch uh, in a 24 hour period, maybe even a four hour stretch, uh, then uh, everything is most likely well. If you want to learn what's normal when it comes to newborn sleep in terms of the sleep stretches based on biologically normal sleep and based on breastfeeding parents, make sure to grab the free normal baby sleep guide. I'll link it down below. Did you find this video helpful? Did you learn something new? Let me know in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe so that I can make more videos and so you can be notified when I make them. I hope to see you soon and wish you lots of sweet, sweet cuddles and sleep.